The following interview was conducted with Sandra Ring for the Purdue University Oral History Project. It took place on August 4th, 2017 at the Indiana State Fair. The interviewer is Adriana Harmeyer. Sandra, could you please tell us the times, the years that you were at Purdue and what you studied? Um, 1985 to 1989, um, elementary education. And is that what you did professionally after yes. graduation? Yes. And where do you live? Terre Haute, Indiana. And where were you from? Terre Haute, Indiana. <laughs> so you've lived there all your life? Pretty much. Right after we got married, I moved to um, Estes Park, Colorado for about two and a half years because that's where my husband was living. But then when we had children, we moved back home so they could be close to grandparents. So. Mm -hmm. Did your husband attend Purdue? No. Okay. Do you remember the first time you visited Purdue? The first time I remember visiting Purdue was through 4-H, going on 4-H um, Roundup in the summer for about three days. Mm -hmm. My dad's a Purdue grad, so. Were many members of your family Purdue grads? No. My mom's brother and then my dad, mm -hmm. and that's all. Okay. Where did you live when you were a student? Owen Hall. The entire time? Mm -hmm. Do you remember places on campus you would go to study? I didn't do that enough. <laughs> um, the library was really, and I mean, I, I don't know if there was a special place or anything like that. It just, mm -hmm. I would go okay. to the library. What about free time? Were there any places you would go in your spare time? Um, I was a member of the Purdue women's bowling team, so I hung out at the bowling alley a lot. Was that at the Union? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have any memories of, of the bowling nights? Any special memories that stand out? It was just fun to go to travel to the different universities mm -hmm. and stuff around and do it. And I did not enjoy bowling on synthetic lanes. I remember that. <laughs> I didn't know that before, but I did awful on them. Uh -huh. Did you have a job while you were a student? Um, I worked, <coughs> excuse me, in the um, post office mm -hmm. there at Owen Hall. Okay. For one year, maybe two. And that was the only mm -hmm. job you had? That was. Are there any specific moments or events that you think of, special memories that stand out from your time as a student? Not really. Just when my dad and his friends from college would come up to their annual football game every year, and then they'd take me out to eat, and I'd get to hang out with them. But Are there any places you would go to eat? I don't remember anything special. Okay. But. Did you go to very many sporting events? No. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. Have you visited Purdue campus recently? Yes, we went over spring break. I can't remember if it was this year or last year, but in the last year, year and a half anyway, yes. What has changed the most about campus? Mm -hmm. most. All the people look so much younger than I do. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things that are still the same or that bring back those memories mm -hmm. anyway that has changed the most. I'm not real. I can't. To say one thing, I don't know. Okay. Does anything stand out as being exactly the same? Probably not. It's probably going to show how long it has been since I've been there before. But, I mean, ross -Aid Stadium, and it could be a brand new one since I was there. I don't know. But it looks the same to me. Same. It still has the same feelings. Is there anything about Purdue that you think should get more attention? No. 
No. Okay. Do you have any advice you would give incoming Purdue students? Don't take anything for granted. Work hard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because some students don't know how to study or don't, you know, just don't have the right to start with because they didn't have to work so hard in high school. And mm -hmm. That is great advice. Do you have any final thoughts, comments, memories you would like to share? No. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you.